Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a review video for you today on this e-bike. It is the Moon Cool CG2 cargo bike and it is amazing. This thing can haul some stuff. It has a 450 pound payload, it goes up to 20 miles an hour, it says it'll go 60 to 75 miles on one charge and we're going to take it to the test today. All right, let's go over some specifications. The back end here, you can purchase a cargo basket for it um, that obviously you would screw down. This is just the cargo net that I put on to hold a bag. You do have mud flaps, some substantially large tires that help with different terrain. This is a city bike, so I wouldn't go off-roading, but um, it does make your ride much more comfortable as it acts as like a shock absorber when you're hitting the bumps of the road. Um, you do have a very substantial kickstand, which comes in handy. The bike does weigh 97 pounds, so you need something a little more substantial. I love this blue color. It just screams summer and beach to me. Um, here's your battery. You do get a set of keys. The keys only determine if this is locked or unlocked, so you can charge it. Last night, I just plugged it in the garage right here. It comes with the charger. Your seat is fully adjustable up and down. And you just tighten your rim here. Has a nice wide cushion to seat. I would not wear this with biking shorts. I think you would end up chafing. Uh, but it's nice and comfortable because you are sitting more in an upright position on this bike opposed to a road bike. Uh, the handlebars are very similar to the trike. It did come with a bell, but I took it off so I could, and I added my phone mount that I purchased myself along with this bag that came off my other bike. Um, you do have Shimano seven speed. So depending on how much you want to pedal or not, you have that gear shift. You can click here to go one way, here to go the other, um, and it changes gears very smoothly. This is your throttle right here. Oh. <laughs> I have it turned on. That's your throttle, as you can see, and it pulls it forward. You have your wrist um, rest right here, which is very comfortable. I will wear gloves because um, it can get your hands sore. And to go 75 miles at even 20 miles an hour, that's several hours on a bike. Um, you have your brake here. I don't know if that's the front or the back. I think that's the back. Um, but it is disc brakes, which is nice. On the front here, you have a mount for a basket. If you wanted to put a basket up here, there's a double section to put a, a basket that they do sell. Um, here is your front light, another mud flap, and again you get a good look at that wide tire base which is pretty awesome. Over here, um, this is the front, you do not have a, an emergency brake like the tricycle so you do have to park it on a you know flat surface. And then you have the same handlebar over here, you have your blinkers, which are okay, you know, and a horn. And then here is your power source. You hold it, turns it off. You hold it, turns it on. Now, if you wanna use your power assist, you have five levels of assist. I do one and with pedaling in seventh gear, I can get up to about 10, 11 miles an hour consistent. It also does your odometer so this has 0.2 miles on it my trip is at zero because i haven't gone anywhere um i don't know what volume is i'm not really sure we'll have to look that up yeah and how long have you been riding clock and when you turn it off some of them reset some do not um, you, the handlebars are fully adjustable as well, so you can unscrew it here, move it forward or back. I did that when I took it apart, but also right here, you can screw this, unscrew that here, and then this will lift up towards you if you have a smaller torso. So that is your tour of this new 2024 Moon Cool CG2 City Bike. And now we're going to take it out for an experiment. Where are we at? I don't know what volume means. We 
We are at 6.7 miles, full battery charge, been running on two, averaging about 12.9 miles per hour. Let's roll. Okay, dokie, we are at, well, mine says 20 miles, Debbie says 17 and a half. 17 and a half. I'm still showing full battery charge, which is just amazing to me, but okay. So we'll keep right. going. We're at 29-ish, eight-ish miles. My butt hurts. I've been sitting on this for two hours and how long? 22 two hours and 22 minutes. <laughs> My battery is still there, which is weird. Awesome. Um, we were, I was looking at before the odometer, which has me at 31 miles for the bike, but this trip is 29.1 ish. So far comfortable. I'm going to try it next time with my bike shorts. <laughs> yes. Nice. I'm not sure. I am in love with this bike. So yesterday, most of this video you'll see, uh, cousin and I rode 35 ish miles and I think in about two and a half, three hours, not terrible. Today I'm out for 10 more miles and I'll explain that in a minute, but the seat is good. I will probably try with my biking shorts because my butt hurts. Definitely would need another option for water um, because it's hot, but I ordered a bag for back here. So if that fits, that'll take care of my second water situation. And if not, we'll figure it out. Um, oh, I did buy this accessory. This is just a fun bag. You always have to have something to keep your stuff in. This will hold sunblock, snacks, um, chapstick, tissues, stuff I need when I ride because, you know, allergies. Okay, so how it all works. I have figured it out on our ride. You have different levels of power assist. One, two, three, four, five. Power assist five is your, your peak and each level has a top speed. So power number five will take me up to the 20 mile an hour mark as long as I'm pedaling. At that point, you're pretty much free pedaling, but you just gotta keep the pedals moving if you're using power assist. That is also the maximum speed if you throttle. What I don't love is this throttle is so close to your handrail that I accidentally, when I'm getting on my bike, I seem to keep hitting it and it launches me forward. So you gotta be careful of this throttle if you have the power assist on. So the other thing to do is get on the bike, get moving, and then turn on the power assist because this won't work if that's not on. So I gotta work through that. The gears shift like a dream. These Shimano gears are fantastic. I don't think it's the highest level, but um, pushing this button makes them go up. It's so easy, down, up. I usually keep it in seven. Um, I don't like spinning with no resistance. So seven gives me some resistance. So I found out yesterday, pedal, pedal assist one is 10.9 miles an hour. I will not go faster than 10.9 um, unless I put the throttle on and stop pedaling. Power Assist 2 gets me at 12.9, which is where we hung out most of yesterday. Power Assist, Power Assist 3 gets me up to 16 and so forth. But those are your peak speeds. Now, it's kind of hard to go less than because as soon as you start pedaling, if I'm on 2, as soon as I start pedaling, this power will go in and the engine will kick on and the motor and it will make me go 12.9. Just as a keep that in mind. I've used two bars and I just gotten to use that second bar and the total miles that I've ridden is 44 um, on this battery charge. Only be, I know about 43 actually because um, this odometer doesn't reset when you turn off the bike. But this morning I've gone 5.2 at power assist two and as long as I'm pedaling, sometimes I'm it's on flat. I'm not even using the battery. So keep that in mind, depending on how much you use the battery. But I think this is going to get me the 55-mile ride. Because if not, I'm going to have to get picked up. There's no way you're pedaling this bike without power assist. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk to. Because of the width of the tires and the weight of the bike, you have to use the power assist if you're going to have any incline. If you're on totally flat ground, you got some really strong leg muscles, it's fine. 
but it's heavy. That's a heavy girl. She's heavy, but it works out perfect for me. So I hope you enjoyed as detailed of a review as I can give you on this bike. I'm going to head home and then we're going to see one last time where the battery is. And I'm going to try to push it a little bit and do the 16 miler on the way home just to see how much battery that might use since I just dropped down one of uh, the two bars. So I'm going to see if it uses a full bar to get me the next five miles. I'll be back. Okay, I'm home from my ride. I'm sitting down. I'm resting. And um, I did push it on the way home and I used level three, which got me up to about 16 miles an hour. And it did drop down one more full bar. So I think from what I'm gathering, you get your most, it, the bar doesn't move until you're about 30 miles in and then it starts dropping. So I, I'm very confident that I'll get a 55 mile bike ride out of it. I don't know for a hundred percent. And honestly, it does depend on how much you're using the pedal assist, how many hills you're going up, how much you weigh. It is variable, but I will say that I'm very pleased with this bike and I think it's going to have, um, gonna do fine for my Peloton ride and I'm gonna have a good summer enjoying it. So thanks for watching!